Welcome to Dinobytes, this is the lizard I am, and today I will be showing you all of the things that you need to know about fuel. There are four different fuel sources in the game, thatch, wood, spark powder, and gasoline. And there are seven different items or structures that you can put the fuels into. This diagram shows you how long each one of the fuel sources lasts in each of the individual items. For the sake of brevity, I'm not going to read out the entire diagram, but if you feel like you need to pause the video at this point, now would be a good time. For the second part of the tutorial, I want to cover refrigerators and preserving bins, and why I, in my personal opinion, believe refrigerators are a lot better. Anybody that looks at a refrigerator can tell it's high tier and it is going to be better. But I want to emphasize a little bit on why I think that you shouldn't focus too long on making a bunch of preserving bins to store your stuff. That time and energy that you go into keeping the preserving bin and maintaining the spark powder that goes into the preserving bin kind of slows you down towards the end game. You're better off just going for, get, get your fabricator, make your generator, and then make your refrigerator because the oil that you turn into gasoline is going to end up lasting one one gasoline in a generator lasts an hour and 15 minutes whereas one spark powder lasts oh thank you Ophelia for pooping <laughs> one spark powder ends up lasting only 30 minutes in your preserving bin and that stone that you're using in order to keep that preserving bin going you need that stone a lot of stone a ridiculous amount of stone to put towards cementing paste for your metal buildings. This metal building here took me probably three weeks to make. It required quite a lot of metal and cementing paste, which means stone. Stone and metal. Unfortunately, the only place that you're going to be able to find the oil required for gas, this is like the biggest con for, for the the refrigerator is the the oil that you need to make gasoline out in the ocean with the megalodons however you're going to be saving yourself a lot of a lot of spoilage it makes up for it in time because you're not going to be going through things nearly as quickly as you were with the preservation bin preserving bin this stuff doesn't spoil very quickly at all for one berry to spoil six hours eight hours that's a ridiculous amount of time. Basically, you've frozen everything, and you're not gonna, you're not gonna have hardly any waste at all. I think I put these stem berries in here two days ago, or yesterday, and you know, one or two of them have been lost off of this stack. It's definitely worth the investment to go ahead and get yourself the refrigerator. Thank you for watching Dino Bites. Have a great day.